this might be better i'm not sure if it's not i will restart obs this time and see what happens it might be my obs but apparently other streamers are having problems too so i don't know so anyways so we had to restart the stream unfortunately hopefully now it's doing fine we'll see looks okay good i hope it's okay i'm gonna be watching it on my stream manager to see if it starts glitching out again it might have just been a connection issue with Twitch. It wasn't my internet, that's for sure. Uh, you know what? Just in case, because if I might, I might split this up on the VOD channel. I'm going to show people the cute little cake, the cupcake, real quick. You have to kick it in here just to get the cupcake. And I laughed at it for a bit. I thought that was really cute because it's a small little cupcake instead of a cake. So far, it's a pretty good level, though. I like this little debate, because you know you can't step on that or you'll die. Then again, maybe some people don't know that. They might, they might just uh, jump on it and die to it anyways, but... In general, you don't want to step on spike bits. It's like spinies. Actually just worked up that's gotta be what record right there in terms of like getting that to like function properly on the seesaw so you like getting that every run it worked oh because you know what technology is dumb let's put it that way yes whoa these guys are fast Oh, I gotta go. What? You have a down arrow? I was pressing down. <laughs> I have to jump? What is this? Oh, that's a little rough, but all right. It's not my internet, that's for sure. It has to be on Twitch. All right, so... I guess I just have to jump? Okay, well, I think up arrows would have worked better there in general because it's not a really good indicator. All right, some problems with this one. Fair enough. I'm a touch, uh, tough critic. Yes, I am. Hello, Frank. Is that the uh, one and only Frank? It has to be because you have 88 in your name. gonna be on YouTube. It's gonna be on YouTube for VOD. I'm not gonna make a video out of it. Too lazy. But also because... Oh, I see. I had to hold right. Also because... I'm not interested in, in editing content for that kind of stuff. That structure. I'm more of a play-by-play -play basis when it comes to editing content. You know. Doing a critique as an edited video is just... I, I don't find any interest in it. I don't mind doing it for content in general on stream, but when it comes down to editing videos, it just doesn't strike me as something I would want, you know? All right, some of these uh, arrows are a bit off. Hmm. I would have an up arrow as you fall down there, so you know you have to jump as well, because some of this stuff is so hard to react to. It's a fun level, don't get me wrong. Oh. I was not ready for that for some reason. They had a coin trail and I just jumped like a dumbass. That was your level? I mean, Frank, I've seen your levels in Super Expert Endless, so... That's why I say the one and only, because you do have a lot of, uh... You, you do have a list. A, li a list of levels that are very good. I mean, you got likes for me. There's only one level I didn't like from you. It was a flop one. I don't remember exactly what it was. 
I just remember I didn't have a good time. That's what the feelings were attached to. Yeah, I would have up arrows here and up arrows as we fall down there. Because it's really hard to react to fast moving shells in general. Ooh, that could catch someone really easily. Am I good to go? What, what? Oh shit, I was not ready for that whatsoever. I didn't realize they were gonna go revolving around like a jump rope. Oh boy. That level is nearing 25k likes anyways. I couldn't see why. <laughs> I would say this one's a little bit more rough on the edges when it comes down to level design. Yeah. Oh, don't worry about it, Frank. I'm sure I had my reasons for not liking it. Not like you matter. <laughs> not, not, not like it matters, sorry. <clears throat> Misspoke there. Not like it matters if I like it or not because, again, 25k likes. What's one meh or a boo, right? <laughs> there's just no reason. This is there's literally no reason. So I don't know, I'm kinda getting a little bored with this level. Cause I keep doing trial and error and it's a little bothersome. It's a fun level. Slightly fair. If as long as you're paying attention all the damn time. And this one's 100% super expert. I can say without a doubt this is super expert. Okay. What they should have done, perhaps, is put a... Mm -hmm. I don't know how would you do this. I guess you're safe here. I'd probably put a big coin there. So the player stops on it. I want to hit that. I want to know what's over there. There we go, the real cake. Holy shit, that's a monster. Jesus. At least I found it, the real one. You yeah, have so many boot comments on your level. Oh, I think a lot of your levels are really good, Frank. You, you think I'm harsh, but some people are just cruel. Hello, Yin. Yeah, it has been a while. Boo? This is some get a boo. Uh, hmm. It was well designed. The aesthetics were okay. The second half of the level was, uh, slightly trial and error, unless he pause buffered. It was hard to read. When the, the down arrow was meant, I thought I was gonna just go, I don't know. When it said down, I was thinking that I would have to, I would just drop, but again, that doesn't make any sense because that would just kill you. I think up arrows would have been better. Just to let the player know you would have to jump there. I don't know. I think it's an okay level. I'm gonna give that a meh, yeah. I wanna, I, I'm feeling a strong 7 on this one, in terms. They have good aesthetics on the thumbnail at least, but... Yeah. I know people want to like it, but... Eh, it's a meh. It's not a boo though, at least. There's that. There's your prediction, for the first week anyways. It's an okay level. Not my favorite. Uh, pretty easy to catch players off guard for sure. But I do I do like the fact that they put two cakes on this level. A cupcake and a big cake. 
I think that was a really good addition to the level. It was almost, it was very close to a like, but I was starting to lose interest in the level. You don't want the player to lose interest. Like, I frustrated, sure, because of hard tech, but I was just starting to lose interest in the level. I'm like, eh, it's a cool concept, but like, your players are dying left and right, my dude. You know? I already said at the beginning of the stream that 8, 9, and 10 would be likes and 7 under would be a meh, and I think a 4 would be a boo, honestly. 7 is generous? Yeah, I'm being generous, like the rest of the levels. I mean, we have a 9.5, a 10, a 9.5, 9.5. Like, they're really solid levels. Very fair to the player. This one's not that fair to the player. The second half is holy crap, but it, it was fun until I started losing interest in it at the second half. I think they had a good idea. They could have executed it a little bit better, though. Just a tiny bit. Maybe a little bit more fair to the player. Uh, indicated it slightly better. I don't know, maybe even give the player a mushroom? Nah, that would break the concept, though. You don't want to get it behind them, because then that would just make no sense. So you really can't give the player a power-up, because it would just break the level. So you can't even be fair that way, because the whole concept is not the you know, bypass the spiny bros. You're supposed to stay in between. So yeah, you couldn't even do a power up. It's, it's impossible. So there's no way you could have been more fair to the player that way. Maybe like extend the distance between each spiny bro. That's the only thing you could have really done there. And a little bit better on the indicators. But yeah, no, it's a fun level. Again, until the second half. I, it was all right. People wanted me to boo it for some reason. I can't, I can't see why you would want to boo that. It's not a bad level. It's just executed slightly poor you know that is what it is all right we're gonna go straight to the next level there spring bone scaffolding by pink tops i have never played a level from the mineral thing so i guess we'll see there's only one more level after this and it's from mang i'm having high hopes for mang's level uh, she's been making better levels in general so i'm really hoping that it's a really good one did I didn't really look at that wrong. Oh, there's Lantis as well. That's what I was looking at wrong. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is what happens when you don't have sleep. There's two more levels after this one. So there's three more levels total. And that was supposed to be a G, I think. Yeah, that was supposed to be a G. All right, let's take a look at this. Ping Tomps. Pass through this construction. Note. Oh, yeah, this is like a traditional style level, right? With a, with a twist, wasn't it? The, the low grab one had such a unique concept and it was really fun to figure out. Dimitri, I had to slam it with a like. I'm sorry. I was thinking about giving it a 9, but I was like, you know what? They've really tried on the concept and they try to keep it nice and fresh on each, you know, section, so I really couldn't ding them for that. They tried their best. Sure, you timed out like twice in the level, but. Oh well. I mean. They gave enough lives and coins, so it wasn't a big deal. Oh, what's this? That's pretty cute. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I hit right. Maybe because you just gotta hold right in Mario Maker. Oh, Rekwain. I'm assuming Rekwains are for the cake. I mean, at this point, it's pretty obvious. Are there really actually fake Mar five year Mario Maker levels? That's kind of sad. Just wanted to look over here before I move on. I'm going to assume you get an. Oh, I guess you don't get another Fire Flower. I thought maybe they would have a pipe system, but okay. Fair enough. I really hope I don't need that Fire Flower for Ice Coins to get a, a red coin, because that would really suck.
I just realized you can get easily crushed here, but it's not a big deal. Should be able to avoid it at all times, you know? I already seen three one-ups, so that's good. Got a guy advertising his own five years Mario Maker level on your level? What the hell? Oh, uh, do people have no shame? Guess not. Oh, there's a red coin there. There's a key door. I just gotta find that last red coin. I missed one. I missed the red coin, didn't I? I guess I'll play the level again. I'll find it. I'll look a little bit harder. I bet you it was at the start and I missed it. This level was an instant like though. Very good traditional style level. Uh, pretty obvious what you had to do during the P-Switch section. I mean, you have a chance to look at it before you step on it. And you knew it was a P-Block bridge, so you would die if you stepped on it. It's a traditional level with a twist, honestly. I like that. I don't think I've seen anyone use this combination of enemies and such. Wait. Wait. That guy got unloaded. Uh-oh. Oh, he comes back. Good. Was this the first one I missed? I don't know if I got that one or not. I think I did, right? Maybe I missed it. That's the one up. Yeah, I think I missed that one because I don't really remember grabbing it. There's one there. Something down here. Yeah, that had to have been the one I missed at the start, very, very beginning. Oh, progressive, interesting. So you're saying, as long as I don't grab that, and as long as it doesn't fall into Abyss, that should be a Fire Flower now, right? Nice. I really like the aesthetics in this level. They don't blind the player, and they're very good to look at. It feels like an actual real Nintendo level, that's how good this level is. That's really what you should be aiming for in traditional. Cheese? I guess in a way it could be. Hmm, thought that was gonna hit it. Oh, I did miss another one. How did I miss it? Is it a... Not over. Hold on. How did I miss it? You hide it. I'm gonna die real quick. I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Guys, it looks like a hard one. I don't think it's in this section, but I could be wrong. Might have been at checkpoint one that I missed it at. Cause that that should be the last coin right there. Theory. Something down here, right? Okay, I'm gonna start over one more time. I'm missing it between checkpoint one and checkpoint two, I feel like. I could be missing it right here. It just was really obvious and I completely missed it. 
One there, it's very close to the other one. I think you fall down or anything. It wasn't in that pipe. One over there. One right here. There was already four before checkpoint one, correct? There's one down below there. Yeah, I think it's four before checkpoint one. But it has to be in here that I missed it. Where? If they hide it in a saw, that's gonna be really unfortunate. I don't think we would do that, but... Did I get that one? I don't remember. Something up here, but I don't think I can reach it. One there. Wait. Same thing, I'm still missing one. down here. The checkpoint is right through that pipe, is it not? I huh. Yeah, the checkpoint's right there. I didn't look hard enough again? Where the hell did you hide it? Not the only other thing I can think of. Which I don't think is required doing that and then, you know, bypassing it and then respawning it with no P-Switch on top. I don't think that's the answer, though. This is really interesting. Is it down below super high? Where is it? I know there's four before checkpoint one. I don't think there's five, but there could be. Very possible. I don't want any spoilers, so I'm not looking over it. Looking really hard for this one. Was there really one over there? I guess there could be one at the pipe. I just never thought about it. No, there's nothing there. Takes you to a reset pipe. I don't think it's on top of there. And up here. There's anything down below, but it, it could be. Doubt it though, because the aesthetics are pretty good. I don't think they would have the last red coin blind, so it has to be at checkpoint one and onward. It has to be. No matter what. Unless I somehow miss a really obvious coin after checkpoint two, which I don't think I did. There's a claw up there. If I could get up there, that'd be really good. Nothing here. There's one, but hmm. you know these instead of kind of remind me of like a Mega Man style level. Oh, I see it! Wow, that's really hidden. Jeez, I knew these like sideways springs were something special, but I didn't expect that. All right, that's pretty good. That's a good spot. That's a good hiding spot. I'll give them that. That's really hard to see unless you're actively looking for that coin. Wow. Yeah, I don't look at chat because you guys are backseat gamers. It's true. And if I put that tag on, you're gonna do it anyways. I understand it. I do it. I, I completely understand the logic behind that. Yeah, I guess it would be nice to have the same number of coins per checkpoint, so that way you know how much you're missing, right? In what checkpoint. That'd be really cool, but... Not really necessarily required, it would just been a really cool uh, design point, or design standard point, you know. Imagine I died here. For Ruby's 4, exclamation point store. Just jump how we tell you to, I know right, Essentia? I, I don't want- Oh, this is kinda cute. 
I like that. I like how every cake has just been different mostly. This one's really unique, just like the Spiny Bro. The Spiny Bro cake is probably my favorite cake, despite receiving a meh. It did a really good job on the cake, in general. This one is also up there too, it looks really good. But anyways, my point being is... I understand the concept of vaccine. Some people just want to help. Some people just want to tell you what to do because they think they're better than you, you know? <laughs> Some people want to tell you because they just want to give you the answers because they just want to be a dick. I, un I completely understand all logical ideas behind it. But there's a reason why I don't get angry about it. I just don't look at chat because I don't want to start banning people for it. I think it's really dumb to do that. So. Some people just learn. Exactly, you know? Although that's kind of unrelated to the point, but yeah. This level receives... I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything before I judge it. It's a traditional level with a twist. The right way was really hard to find, but it did mark it with the sideways springs. I give him kudos for that. I think this level receives a 10. This is, uh, above and beyond on the aesthetics. I can't even argue with them. It's so good. Even the thumbnail is god tier. I mean, jeez, they put a lot of work into that too. Definitely a 10. Probably the best level right now I've seen so far today. In terms of like, very simple design and not even anything I would give or take away from this level. I may have had a nitpick here or there, but it was nothing that like, it didn't matter. Alright, there should be two more levels and then we're done. As for finding the... Or rather, the key coin, or yeah, red coins in general. Getting that over there to get to the red coin door, to get to the five year Mario Maker cake, no big deal. Like, it was a slight bit of a challenge to find it. And it was very rewarding, too. Got a nice uh, look at the cake in general. Skyward. All right. Is this a uh, link level that's going to be like a sky tree? I hope not, but that's because I play too much Super Expert, honestly. I'm really hoping this is a temple style level, but maybe it won't be. I don't know. Second week tomorrow? No, we're going to wait a while. I don't want to get spoils from it, but I also don't want to spoil other people who watch my content. I'm going to wait a week to do the second week just to uh, let the levels come out for a while. And then I'll judge them. Wait. Skyward? SMB3. 0 out of 10, not even a link level. I got fooled. <laughs> yeah, I want to make sure I don't... Oh, I think I know the concept of this level already. New things happen as you progress in the level, right? Yeah. Anyways, my point being is I really just don't want to spoil people. I want them to get their week's worth of Fire Your Mind Maker before I judge them, so they're really to take a look at how I judge levels accordingly. This is a uh, go and pipe, reset, come back, right? Scraps and Sky Tree Levels. Sky Tree Levels can be really good if done right. That's really hard to do in general. What is this? What am I doing there? Oh, I see. Twisters, they suck. No matter how you do it, they always suck. When it comes to link tags, I know, right? I'm not gonna boo level over a link tag or they baited me with- Oh, that's actually a really good use of a twister here, at least. They, uh, yeah, it's fine. I was really hoping for a link level, but whatever. I'm really hoping there are some link levels down the road, though. I ain't a five-year mind maker with at least a link level, right? Okay, so there's gonna be vine shenanigans when they come back through. I think I get it. I need to hit the on-off for the flip, right? And to hit the oh. Can I get that? Why would you make that one block too high? <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Maybe you're not supposed to get this yet. But you could definitely cheese it. If you do a really good hop. Oh. 
I mean, sure. It's the ultimate tease, yeah. I'm assuming there's a different way of getting that. There we go. I'm not sure if that was intended. If that's intended, it's a little too rough. To get a 50. I mean, it's free because it's not hostile or anything, but yeah. So what they're using here is resetting the level to receive a new variable, basically, is the best way to put it. I don't know. Maybe it's too technical to say it that way. Because now I can get an item from it, which before I couldn't because, uh, you know, just in general. Because I did this, basically. I'm supposed to throw it under, right? You know what, at least they care about the player here. Oh, I get it. Maybe? Is there a ground pound requirement or is, or is this maxed? Oh, it's just maxed. Never mind. I thought maybe there was more to it, but never mind. At least every section is a little different. I, I like that. And yeah, they found a way to glitch the sword in SMB3. Although I am against glitching, but if the, if the glitch is actually really cool and harmless, I'm cool with it. If the glitch makes it so that you teleport to a pit of death, then you, I got a problem with that. I need enough power to get up there. Unless I do like a really god tier jump here, which I think you actually can if done right. Uh, maybe not. Maybe you need more speed that way. It almost looks like it's possible though, doesn't it? I guess it doesn't matter because I can just hit the on off correct. I don't know why I'm trying to do hard jumps when I don't need to. understand why you need the pal. I, I could do a pal midair, but I don't think that's uh, what you're intended to do. Or maybe they just dis disabled that. You probably could do that with a pal midair. Maybe if the launcher was on the other side, or I guess you could probably do it here too. I know I'm not supposed to be looking for ways to cheese this level, but like, you know, it it's kind of tempting to do it just for fun. Just see if I can pull it off. Ah, it's so close. Controlled power drops are the hardest things to do. You see people cheese it with the midair? It's so tempting. I'm trying to figure out what they want me to do with POWs. I could drop them under the launcher. Is that what they want me to do? I have an idea, but I feel like that's not what they int- I'm gonna do it anyways after I get this, uh, pow. Hold on. Let me get this pow real quick. I'm gonna try something. Now I'm gonna reset. I'm gonna grab both pals basically. I'm gonna grab the right one after I drop one. I gotta use my shield. <laughs> I can't, I guess I do have a shield. If that was a hint, I don't really care because I'm gonna try something different. But I need to make that jump now. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not what you're doing, but hell, I'm gonna do it anyways.
There we go. Let's see what happens if I do this. Was that intended? Because I I feel like that was not intended. There's a key? I need another pal. I have to kill that guy. Crap. Is there anything I was missing down below? I don't think so. Maybe I did miss something about down below. Okay, well, what I did was, uh, probably cheese, more than likely. I think I understand it, though. Hold on. Maybe it's something to do with this and just lands on it, and that oh, that's what the intention was. I get it. I don't know why the power is there, though. Uh... Oh, maybe that's an auto setup? Hold on. Maybe I should take that with the, the benefit of the doubt. Hold up. That might have been an auto setup. I messed it up. No. Alright, I gotta put it under it. If I do it like this, it might just work. Maybe that was a hint? That probably was a hint, right? Drop it on that. Hit this. No, that wouldn't work. You definitely do need two pals to make that work. So I need this pal, then I reset. I don't got much time for this. I reset, do the same thing I just did a moment ago, which was considered cheese, I think. But do it on the right side so the launcher lands on the other launcher, right? Is that what I'm doing? That's what it feels like. Kind of a cool puzzle. Oh, hopefully this is right, because I only got 20, what, 15 seconds. I missed. How the fuck does he miss like that? I wish I could kill myself here, but I guess I'll just wait. I think this is what you're supposed to do, though. Hit the on-off, grab the POWs, let it land on the other launcher. I feel like that was what was intended. It seems like a super extra puzzle out of nowhere, though. Hmm. There are multiple ways to win. There's a mid-air. There's the way that I did it, which was considered cheese. I mean, there's, there's just multiple ways to do it, so it's not a big deal. At least it's not forced one way or the other. Which is, that's honestly good design in general. There's multiple ways to win. Wait, that's not intended? Then what the fuck do you do in this puzzle level? <laughs> Oops. Imagine designing a puzzle, but then there's like multiple ways to win it. Does this level not get tested fully or something? Alright, we don't do that. We don't want to get crushed. No, you can backseat the answer now. I've already beaten the level. If I've technically beaten the level, even if I haven't touched a goal, if, if it's within reach of, like, normal me means, vaccine is totally fine. I'm actually really curious to see what the, the intended solution is. And before I do that, let me go ahead and do it my way and see if it just straight up works anyways. Alright, now we're already up here. I need... I see. I need to do it this way. Lower this guy. Then lower this one. Grab the other one first. A game mechanic? What game mechanic? That should, that should do it. 
That should be it. And then it should land right on it. Right? Oh god. I don't want to die doing this. That should be it. And I do it like that. Grab it. And it should be good. That should be good to go, right? That was that was intended, was it not? It looks like it was intended. That's what I was gonna do. What do you guys think I was gonna do? That's a pretty okay looking I'm your mind maker cake, I guess. Better than just putting a whole bunch of semi solids I suppose. I better grab this at least. You don't, think that's a, you don't think that's a primary solution? Interesting. I think the the way that I did it originally was the better solution. <laughs> the first one, you know, put two paths stacked on top of each other on the left one. That's my favorite solution. I like that more. Yeah, gets a like. Let's see. Well, it baited me with the, uh, the link thing, which is fine, I guess. It's a puzzle oriented level. Progressively gets harder. It's always different as we go on. It's a reset pipe. They use the same thumbnail each time, and that's fine. There wasn't really any spice to it other than the uh, just general puzzles, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying to think of like the aesthetics were okay. They weren't the greatest, but not much you could do in a puzzle level like that. I'm just trying to find a reason to bump this up any points. It's good for endless. The way to get the cake is pretty simple. You just got to keep a pal. And you're allowed to go back through anyways. I think it's lacking something, though. Am I the only one, only one that feels that way? I feel like it's lacking something. Well, obviously, other than Link, but... I'm going to I have to get this one a 9. I don't know why, but it's just like... It feels like it's lacking something. I don't I don't know what it is. It's like it's it's missing something. Other than Link, obviously. That's not the, that's not the point. That's not the joke. There's just something missing from this level that it could have used. You think putting the powers on the right side? Oh. I could see that. Maybe that was the intended method then. I'm not sure, Caliban. I feel like it's lacking something. It does have multiple solutions on the final one, though, which is okay. That's what you ended up doing? Well, me playing Super Expert for so much, it just... The POW solution that I came up with was the most common one I could think of. They tried to make it more casual friendly, though, so I do appreciate that. Anyways... The final one, which is the one I've been kind of looking forward to the entire stream, because... Mang's level has just been getting better over time. Uh, the Pikmin level I played yesterday in, in Super Expert Endless was actually an old level of hers, which is really unfortunate. It didn't get many likes, but she's come a long way. So I'm really hoping this one's really fun. I'm like, I'm having high hopes for it. It's like a speedrun-esque level with bonsai bills. Yeah, it's a very lenient level. It just feels like it's lacking something, though. I, I couldn't put my finger on it. Just trying to teach you how to play the, the wind level, I guess. Whoa. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I can't press jump there. I didn't even mean to. I just went for the Z for some reason. That. Probably a big jump, right? Apparently, the Mario Maker 2 big, uh, Mario Maker 2 uh, community is sometimes too stuck about cheese. I mean, Calvin, have you seen my levels? I let people cheese the shit out of it. I don't give a shit as long as it doesn't, you know, break the level to instant win. I don't really care. Most of my levels have so many different solutions on purpose to let the player 
come up with their own solution. I prefer if the player is more motivated by their own logic than my logic, if that makes sense. I like to design it where there's just multiple ways to... Oh, it's a blue platform, I see. I got you. I like to design it with multiple ways to win, if possible. Even my uh, Link puzzle level, there's a couple of ways to actually win. Oh, I thought there was a red coin down there. People feel like they won and they cheese this section. That's a good way to put it, actually. Although that's not really what I intended. This is a super expert-y level, though, that's for sure. Whoa, that section's a little, a little rough, but luckily I was able to read it in time. There's enough bonsai builds, though, so it's, it's fair. For the most part. Mm, I did that to myself. I should have held right. Wait, wait. One thing I noticed is puzzles were a little disconnected thematically. Apart from the reset mechanic. You mean like there was just different styles? Going on the level puzzle wise, I just didn't feel like there was a. Ooh, this that section really is rough. Didn't feel like um. It didn't have a theme, is what you're saying? Maybe. Maybe that's what you meant by that. <laughs> oh my God. Did I save that or? Wow, I actually okay. That maybe that is more lean than I gave it credit for. I somehow saved that. Imagine doing precision in the wind level. <laughs> At least it's okay. Could be worse. This is a key door. This is probably one of Meng's best levels, honestly. If I had to be a judger. Can you please hit that? Thank you. I don't know how I say that, but I'll take it. Like, how do you make a wind level look good, you know? It's kind of hard to do that, unless it's traditional. Come on. Come on, give me, give me it. Give me it to me, come on. It, this is a spike ball, call on it now. No? What is this, Bang? <laughs> what did you make here? I need to know. Come on, you, you can't let me dry like that. Up here? What? She wouldn't leave people dry, come on. There's only one other thing I can think of. It's it's got to be this. What does that do for me? Is there a brick block I missed? Is there a mushroom? Was I not supposed to grab that mushroom? I'll go back in again, I guess. Mushroom. Maybe through the pipe there's a brick block? We can't go back. And that, that, that narrows it down a little bit. Why do I have a mushroom? What does the mushroom do? Is that the joke? Am I missing something here? Can't even jump over that. <laughs> you wouldn't leave people dry, man. Come on, what is this? This is the beginning of the level, is it not? We're at the top beginning the level. Am I supposed to damage base? Hold on. Give me a second here. I'm gonna hold left and see what happens. This is kind of a dumb thing to do. Maybe it's over here? 
Aha! All right, you know what? This is probably the most clever cake I've seen. Hold on, this is actually really freaking clever. I'll give you that. Maybe not the best looking um, cake, but... Okay, you got multiple cakes. Fair enough. I'll give you that. That was a pretty clever cake uh, location on this land. This is like all the rendition of the cakes that she went through. And it's just like, I don't know which one I want. I'll give you all of them. <laughs> is there anything in these? No. That was for some pretty good humor. Also, what is this? I guess I'm supposed to go in there. Oh, that brings it back over here. All right, that's pretty. It's pretty clever. They give you infinite mushrooms so that way you don't die. Hopefully. Almost dies at the end. <laughs> I missed the donut block and almost died. All right, you know what? Man, you have the most clever five-year Mario Maker cake uh, location. Uh, you know, it's not as hard as Kievix, uh key uh, and going back to the level, but it is more uh, thinking, and that's a good way to put your, your hidden five-year Mario Maker cake in general. Like, I had to really think about that one. I'm like, okay, what? you didn't leave me dry. There's no way you did. I'm thinking... Mushroom, what did I do with that? Well, I can't go back because you have the hidden blocks and like The only thing I could think of is go back to the left and like sure enough. There's a damage boost check right there That's pretty clever. I'll give you that. It's my favorite cake uh, situation there. Not maybe not my favorite lineup of cake aesthetics, but Definitely my favorite way to get the cake for sure. I think a lot of people will agree with that for sure. Uh, you know, I'll give it a comment Uh, Yeah, be careful. It's windy also, you can change Meng's tags. Does she not lock them? Interesting. Uh, you probably should lock them, so you know. He spent two hours on the world record, really? I'm not interested in taking it, but that would be a grind for sure. Uh, Meng, I, I really have nothing to add or take away. There was apparently more leniency in this level than I like to admit. At first, I thought it was not very lenient on that, like, four icicle section with the one way. But I saved it so well, it's like you gave me the tools I needed to actually save it in an endless run. So I, I thank you for giving me a lot of bonsais to work with there. Some stuff is a little blind, I guess, because you're, you're playing it through the first time and you, you have so many bonsais to work with. If you're holding jump on the bonsais, I feel like you have a better chance to survive anyways. I was doing control jumps and that's probably on me. And that's because I'm just so used to having control over my bounces, whereas a lot of people will probably just be holding jump and probably will breeze through this level. Uh, no pun intended. I want to give this a straight up 10. I think everything in this level is really good. Good use of wind. Uh, it's a bit difficult, and that's okay. I didn't feel like I got punished for dying, though, because everything was upfront about what it was. Holding jump on those bonsais probably gave you a lot more time to think, and because I did control jumps, I got less time to think. And I still think it was a good directional level where it was guiding the player, regardless of how much time I had to think in general. I don't know if that makes sense. Less time to think because of control jumps versus more time to think because you're holding jump on the bonsais in a windy level. I don't know. Uh, the description could use some work, though. Just in general, I feel like there was a little bit of laziness put in there. And I don't blame you, but the level itself is really good, though. 